Hello, and welcome to my Space Graphics Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to create the sun. As you can see, there's a textured surface, a volumetric atmosphere, and a 3D corona around the surface. To make this, let's begin by making a new scene. Let's select the main camera, and change the background colour to be black. Next, because we want an orbital camera, let's go to Components, Space Graphics Toolkit, Example, and then add the Camera Free Orbit component. Now, let's make a new game object, and let's call it Sun. Let's position the Sun at the centre of our scene, so that's a zero, zero, zero. And let's go to Component, Space Graphics Toolkit, and then add the Star component. Now, keep in mind the surface configuration is set to Sphere. This means the surface uses a single mesh. We can also change this to Cube, where the surface will use six meshes. But let's keep it Sphere, so it's nice and simple. So here we have to set the surface mesh. If you type in surface into the search box, you'll see a bunch of prepackaged surface meshes. For this demo, we'll use Geosphere 20. Next, let's set the surface texture. For this, let's just type in surface sun. Again, we're using sphere and not cube for the configuration. So let's go for sun. Next, let's choose the atmosphere mesh. If you type in atmosphere and choose one of these, Let's go for Geosphere 20, because that's the same as our surface. Now you'll see we have our volumetric atmosphere. Let's change the height of the atmosphere so it matches what we had earlier, so something like this. Now we just need to add a corona. To do that, go to Component, Space Graphics Toolkit, and then add the corona component. Now, keep in mind the mesh type here is currently set to plane. So now, if we go to our texture and type in corona in the texture search box, you have to set one of the plane textures. Let's use the first one here. Now, to make the corona fit the star, we need to adjust the radius here. If we make it to, so it's about 70, you can see it fits the star perfectly. However, this doesn't give us much flexibility. For example, if you wanna change the height of the corona here, you would have to open up this image in your image editing program, like Photoshop or GIMP, and modify it. But that's quite time consuming. And you'll also notice in the center, there's this big black region. That's just wasted texture space. If you want to avoid this and get more flexibility with the height, then change the mesh type here to ring. And then once you do that, you have to change the corona texture. So let's type in corona again. And now let's choose between one of the ring textures. Let's go for the top one here because it's actually the same. Now you can see the ring texture here is uh, horizontally seamless and there's no wasted texture space in the center and there's also more flexibility over the height here. So now if we just adjust the radius here, uh, you see the surface radius of our star is 50, so if we just type 50 in here, now it's perfectly around the surface of our star. Now if we hit play and move the camera around, you'll notice the corona currently follows the camera's rotation. This is because right now it's a billboard. Uh, this is efficient, but it's not very good if you want a fully 3D corona. If you want it to be fully 3D, then change the mesh alignment here to either axis aligned or random. I'll go for random because I think it looks better. So now if we hit play, you'll see we have a fully 3D corona. However, you'll notice that the corona planes are visible in front of the surface of the star. If you don't want this effect, then uh, at the bottom of the corona components, you'll see the Colnea option. If you check that and then hit play, you'll see that all the corona planes that lie in front of the star surface have been hidden. However, when we move the camera around, you'll notice the transition between visible and hidden is a bit abrupt. If it's too sharp for you, then adjust the fade length here. Right now it's set to 10 units. If we change this to say 30 units and hit play, you'll now see that it's much smoother when we move our camera around. And finally, let's just change the color here. Right now the color of our corona is set to yellow. If I just click the color picker here and choose an orange color on the surface, let's say this orange, now it's very uh, aesthetically pleasing and it matches our star. So that's it for the basic star tutorial. Feel free to play around with all of these settings. I won't explain what they all do, but if you're ever stuck, just hover over it to see a tooltip where you can view the PDF documentation.